everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Asla Jade. I post videos over here at least three times a week and I do have a vlogging channel too. So I hope you're doing it very, very well today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the Ivani Greg Morph Palette. I bought this recently and I am completely obsessed. I haven't done any looks with it yet. I've just opened it up, had a look, had a little swatch, but I wanted to save it just for this video. So I hope you all enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And let's get started with today's video. So as I said, I bought this recently. I mean, I don't think this collab has been out that long, but I saw it online and I just had to buy it. So this is what the packaging looks like, which I'm completely obsessed. It reminds me of like a graffiti kind of style, but these colors are just beautiful. And then when we open it up, this is what it looks like. It has the most beautiful color story. Firstly, I love the size of this mirror. It is so nice. It's a really good size mirror. Love the packaging, love the display of it, and I love the way they've just laid it out. So I'm going to start off with these colours here. These are their pigments, and they look beautiful. They've got a really, really good range of mattes to shimmers. I feel like they could do with like one, maybe two more shimmers in this palette, but other than that, this is so good. I love the different colours they've used. They've also got an actual glitter shade there, so I'm quite excited to try that. And then, at the bottom of the palette, they've got some aqua liners, some, some water liners. That is so exciting. I've been after some like greens, blues, some darker colours for my water liners for a very long time now. And to have all of this in one palette... I am obsessed. I'm so excited to try it. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom you guys in. We're going to put on some eye stencils maybe. And we're going to get ready. And I'm going to do my eye base as well. And then we're going to get started. I'm just so excited to just dive into this palette and just create something with it. Because I've wanted this palette for a long time. And the Morph had a sale on their website. And I managed to get my hands on it. I've been waiting until I had time to film this video. So I'm very excited. So let's get started. You guys are now zoomed in. I have primed my eyes using the P. Louise base. I use the shade 3 today. I usually use either 2 or 3. And I've got my eye sticker on. This is from Amazon for anyone wondering. It's just type eyeshadow shield in. Honestly, you'll thank me later. They are so, so good. They are genuine game changers. So, I want to go for like a yellowy, reddy, orangey kind of look today. I'm thinking, I feel like I've not done it for a little while. And there's some beautiful tones of those in the palette. So, I'm starting off by taking a 3 one up Real Techniques brush. This is just one of my absolute favourite brushes to go to. And I'm tapping into the shade. I think it's Annuel. I don't want to pronounce these wrong. But it's this beautiful kind of like corally orange shade here. This seems to be really pigmented so far, so I'm quite excited. I'm going to start to run this through my crease. Oh, that's quite a... Oh, that's quite a pretty colour. It's a really nice corally tone. Okay, I'm just going to apply some of this, just run this through my crease. This is going to be more of a transition shade than an actual shade that we're going to use, but it's really nice. And now I'm going to tap in to a bit of a darker one. I want to go in with the shade You Mad, which is a beautiful, like, bright, vibrant orange. And I'm just going to apply that right through my crease there. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Look at that. That is so pigmented. That is so pretty. I love that. Okay. So, apply that right in the centre of my eye there. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go in with Clown next, which is this beautiful red. So this one looks like quite a dark red, but we're going to go with it anyway. I also love the little imprints. I've got lots of different little imprints on the palette, which I really like. I just think it adds just that extra little bit of detail to the palette and a little bit of extra like care and work gone into it. So going in with that red, I'm really tapping that into my outer corner there. I don't want to go too high with it, but we're going to bring the outer corner up higher than the rest of the look. Just to make more of a sharp, like dramatic kind of like wing. I really like this so far. It's a really nice red. It seems quite similar to the orange though, so we're going to have to use a little bit of a lighter shade to help blend them out a bit. Okay, really like that. It's bit, got a bit of a pink kind of tone to it as well. Just a little bit of pink in there. 
Okay, I'm going to go back in with the shade You Mad. I'm going to take this brush here, which is a 301 Real Techniques. And that's the orange tone there. I'm going to run that through the centre of my crease again. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go back with the original shade we went in with, which is that nice corally shade there. And I'm going to start to blend this over the top of the orange. Because I felt that orange is nice, but it just looks more red than orange. Like, they kind of have just blended together. And it looks a lot more red than it does orange. So, I'm going to go in with a bit of that orangey kind of, like... I don't know how to describe it, apart from corally shade. I'm starting to, like, blend the edge out with it. Okay, I quite like that. We're going to go in with this white shade now, which looks so nice. Like, it's a perfect white. And I'm going to grab a clean, fluffy brush. And I'm going to start to blend these edges out here so it looks less harsh. I've packed it on a little bit, but look at how pigmented those shades are. Like, they're genuinely beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and start to blend. The brush that I've decided on is the JH35 Morph Brush. Really nice size, really nice shape. And it's just kind of perfect for what we need it for. So I'm tapping into that white. Okay, I'm not sure how pigmented this is going to be, but we'll see. We only need it for blending anyway, so it doesn't need to be mega pigmented. Ooh. Okay, I feel like this palette is going to be really blendable. Okay, this is blending really nicely so far. I'm just going to keep blending this for a few minutes until I'm happier with that blend on the edge. So it's just got a softer look. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's just blending like a dream. Like, look at that. That has blended so beautifully already. We've not finished, obviously, but I'm going to do a little bit more. Then move on because we're going to blend over at the end anyway. Now that's blended out quite nicely, I want to add a touch of yellow so I've got like a pop of a bright colour in my inner corner. Like I said, quite disappointed with the orange that it didn't look as orange as it was, but I quite like where we're going with this. So... Tapping into yellow, which is called Beep Boop, which I love. And I'm just going to start to pack this into my inner corner. So this has got a little bit of an orangey tone to the yellow. But it's really pretty, so we're going to keep going. And I'm just going to start to bring this up a little bit. I'm really blending it in with the orange there. Okay, I really like that. That yellow is so pigmented. And they're all just blending so well together. Sometimes you get palettes that you start to blend and it just looks so muddy. But this one is so beautiful. I love how well they're blending together. I think I want to start to deepen up my outer corner a little bit, you know? I'm going to go back in with that clown shade. i pack that right into that corner onto my lid as well. And then start to bring it up a little bit higher. Now, to deepen this up, we're going to grab a little bit of the black. The black looks very pigmented. So, show down here. It's called Hidden, which is quite cool. And I don't want too much of this at all. So, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This one is the JH39 by Morph. And I'm just tapping onto that shade. That looks so pigmented. I'm kind of scared. And I'm just going to really lightly tap right there okay that's really nice i'm gonna get a little bit more of that so get the intensity up and then we're gonna start to blend it in okay you see what i mean how pigmented that is i feel like i might put a little bit too much on but it's fine we can start to blend it and i'm just gonna blend over the top of that with the red we're trying to really deepen that outer corner so it's not just red all over. We've got some different like dimensions and different shades in there. So I'm just going to sit and blend for a little bit until I'm happy with the blend of all of this before I move on to the next step.
I'm now going back in with that JH39 brush and tapping into that white shade again, the Inaudible Noise shade, and starting to buff around these edges again like we did earlier on. The more I layer it and buff it out and then blend it out again, I find the more smooth the blend will be, if that made any sense. Like the more time you spend blending, the better an eyeshadow look is always going to look. But I feel like this is actually going okay. Making it a little bit of a pinky tone on the outside, but I don't actually mind that. It kind of goes with the red. I have just done a little bit more blending of that and then taken the eye stick off and this is how it's looking. So I mean about that flawless kind of wing it gives, it's so nice. Only problem is it can take off a little bit of your makeup underneath. So you have to like top that up or just do your eyes first, which a lot of people do. I just can't seem to get into the habit of doing that. So I'm going to hop off camera, do the exact same thing again on this eye and then I want to play with some of these liners because they look beautiful and the colour range in there. I'm very, very excited to play with these. So like I said, do this eye and then I'll be right back. So for the waterliners, I've decided to go in with the white. And if I'm honest, I've had to film this clip twice just because I really struggled to get it to kind of like activate. I had to, so normally I'd spray the actual paint, the actual pan with water, but this one, you can't do that because it just like evaporates like immediately. So you need to get your brush like really, really wet. And then to kind of just spin it around in the pan until it starts to activate. I really struggled with this. I found the white one was harder than the other shades. But now we know how to do it. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more. And then we're going to start with the liner. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do yet. But I just want to add a little bit more detail to the look. So I'm starting off by wetting my brush. I've just got this little pot and I'm just going to rinse my brush around in here. Okay. And now I'm going to tap into that shade. It's called Jack and Benny. It's a really nice white. I'm just hoping that this actually works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do a little dots on my eyelid there. Okay. Okay, I do wish they were a little bit more even, like actual circles, but that's fine. What I'm going to do now is do the exact same thing on the other lid. I really like how the white kind of like pops with the eye look. It kind of brings a look a little bit more to life. Also, I do apologise. It's been very start-stop. My camera just like crashed completely. Um, so we're a bit at a different angle, different zoom, because my camera just completely crashed. But we're back, and we're going to do the other eye now. I'm just going to tap into that shade again. I do really like it, it's just hard to activate it when you first use it. And then I'm going to do one dot there. Next to it. See, they're not that even. But they still kind of work. I feel like I do need some more practice that to get them a little bit more even. But it does kind of work. So I do actually quite like that. Do you know what? Those liners are really, really nice. I just wish they were a little bit more easy to work with or came with some more instructions. Like it does say wet your brush before you line, but it just takes a little bit of working into the palette to really get it going. I actually can't wait to be able to try out some more of these shades because look at how many liner shades there are. Like I said, I've never tried like green or blue liners. So I think that'll be really, really exciting. I'm gonna go in and do another line with this. I'm still not really there with my waterliners. I'm really trying and I'm practicing, but I'm not really there yet. So I'm gonna go back into that white. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do the other eye. So that's what that was looking like. Just an extra little like detail in there. Just to make it a little bit more something i also just wanted to play with these liners more because i really like them they're really really nice don't normally go in with these liners like i said i've not used these that many times i don't think i've actually used water liners on my channel before but i use them on tiktok and stuff but yeah really like that i'm gonna go in and do the other eye now you just need to get a lot of water on your brush and like drip it on
So I just went off camera for a minute to let my eyes dry and then I did another layer of that white just kind of make that a little bit stronger, a little bit bolder and stand out a little bit more, make the line a little bit thicker. So this is now how my eyes are looking like and this is the final finished look. I'm genuinely really impressed with this palette. I love everything about it. I love the pigment in it. I love the colour story. I love how blendable it is. I just love the variation in it as well. The fact that you can use water liners and eyeshadow in one palette I think is so cool. I've not actually seen a palette like this before. There might be loads out there but I personally haven't seen one. But I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I actually like the finished look. This isn't what I expected it to be at all but I do really like it. I've also recreated some TikToks using this look as well. So make sure you Guys, go follow me on tiktok as well it would mean the world to me but that is it for me for today i hope you've all enjoyed this do not forget to smash that thumbs up button leave me a lovely little comment in that comment section down below and make sure you click subscribe as well because it helps us out so so much but that is it for me for today and i hope to see you all next time bye